Chicago Stadium. This is Gene Ward bringing you Carl Bobo Olsen in the first defense of his middleweight crown against welterweight champion Kid Gavilan in a scheduled 15 round bout. Both men are extremely cautious as they feel each other out in this opening frame. Olsen, the middleweight king in black trunks, assumes the role of aggressor. Bobo is a solid two to one favorite. Olsen weighs 159 and a half pounds to Gavilan's 155. Gavilan is sacrificing speed for stamina, scaling his heaviest for a major fight. The kid is trying to follow in the footsteps of Sugar Ray Robinson. It was Sugar Ray who pulverized Jake LaMotta in this same ring to add the middleweight title to his welterweight honors. Lakeed has had 115 fights, winning 98, losing 13, with four draws. He knocked out 27 opponents. Olsen fought 60 times, winning 54 and losing six. Bobo has 26 KOs to his credit. There was a pre-fight rumor that Gavlin's right hand was injured, but the Keed said it was in good shape as he entered the ring. The Illinois Boxing Commission uses the 10-point must system of scoring. In a close round, score at 10 for the winner, 9 for the loser. Not so close, 10-8, and so on. Olsen is the good big man against Gavilan, the good little man. Bobo is a natural middleweight, whereas Gavilan actually is a heavy welterweight. A crowd of over 18,000 fight fans paid more than $325,000 to see this 15-round clash of champions. Manager Angel Lopez on the kid's left, trainer Mondito Medina on his right. Olsen's strategy early in the fight was to weaken Gavilan with a prolonged body attack. But at this point, in round 15, the Cuban Hawk appears none the worse for wear. Gavilan has absorbed Olsen's blows and has paced himself well. has applied steady pressure throughout the fight. An old ring axiom says that a challenger has to beat a champion convincingly to win his crown. But Gavlin hasn't worked out a decisive advantage. Neither has Olsen. It has been a bitter but very close battle. Look at the kid using his left and now both hands. You'll see Gavlin go all out in this final round. Despite the punches each man has absorbed, neither has been in serious trouble. Neither carries an authentic knockout punch. Olsen depends on the cumulative effect of his punching for results. Gavlin, as you've seen, fights in fast flurries. Two real old pros in there. Now, in the remaining 30 seconds of this bout, each man opens up, hoping to win the round. It's very close, and this is the home stretch. Bear in mind that in close fights, the king usually remains king. A challenger must win decisively before a title changes hands. In this fight, the officials scored 16 rounds even on their combined cards. It's all over. Gavlin goes to his corner, where his manager and trainer begin to towel him off. And there's Bobo in his corner. In a moment, we'll have the decision from ring announcer Ben Bentley. Bobo Olsen wins it and makes good on the first defense of his world's middleweight title.